this is probably one of my new favorite Instagram pages, right? And it, they, I came across this. It hit my algorithm. The one time the algorithm did some some good by me, even though they do be throwing me a lot of nice looking ladies on my algorithm, and um, I do appreciate that also. Whoever runs Instagram, but they put this in my Insta, my algorithm, and I seen this video and this Instagram page. Shout out to Hard Pill Hustlers. Uh, everything spelled right. If you can't spell it on your own, I listening to this page, they wouldn't want you to follow them. They won't want you to follow them if you can't spell hard pill hustlers on your own. So um, <laughs> shout out to them. I'm not going to play the video because we don't want to get no uh, copyright or nothing. So I'll just tell you what I'll give them the credit and tell you these five things that they said are uh, like undeniable truths about women. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel the heat coming now to any uh, women that's listening. But shout out to y'all. Feel free to comment. Um a woman can love you with a heart, but marry somebody better than you. It's a harsh truth that most women do not want to accept. How you feel about that, Quiz? Fact. <laughs> this ain't even cap a fact yet. <laughs> fact. Because <laughs> I'd have been in way too many situations in my life, bro. Yeah. But all right, I can say I was gonna be like somebody I know, but ain't nobody I know. It's been me. <laughs> Somebody, I'm, not, I'm somebody, I know. I'm somebody, I know. <laughs> look, so I'm like, man, I'm gonna I'm look, I'm gonna look crazy in this story, but it was me. <laughs> hey, that's the name of this episode. Somebody, I know. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but no, like it was a woman who, at some point in life, I dealt with, and we had like a, a good thing, right? But she was like with somebody else, and this dude was like a one, like good money, right? And to the people who know me, this ain't about who y'all would think this is. It's like, this is actually somebody different, right? But he's it like... just hurt my heart so much. You no, know, he was like the good guy. Like, dude, dude was doing good things in life, right? Yeah. They already had started building their life together we and always, everything. Uh... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 and I think, like, I think, like, to this day, that female, like, loves me. But, like, she would never be with me because mm-hmm. she has this guy. Mm-hmm. And her life is a lot easier and more simple yeah. <laughs> with my man. I definitely could think of two women right now that are with somebody that they deem better than me because they match the things that they wanted, even though I feel like they might have a stronger connection with me. And I'll leave it at that. That's how I know that that is very I'll say true. What you, I'll say what you didn't want to say. Nothing crazy, nothing Hold disrespectful. On. <laughs> I don't talk to them. I don't disrespect Craig, no let relationships. let me get it out. You ain't got to do all that all the time. Just I'm say it for me. This ain't got nothing to do with man, you. Man, forget them. Just say it and let it be. Let it <laughs> let it fly. Like, you said what you said. I said what I said. <laughs> you ain't got to You ain't got to get in no disclaimer. Say what you say. <laughs> but no, I think it's something different. I think you was halfway right. I thought you was going to go there, but I feel like you stopped. The person she with. He gives her everything she wants. Yep. But he don't be giving her what she need. And you know who gives her that? It's you, Craig. It's me. <laughs> and that's why her heart can be with you. Because everything I really need that I really, like, desire and lust is over here. But everything I want is over here. So I can't tell myself to leave this because, technically, this is the stuff I say I want. I didn't even know I needed this stuff until I met him. Mm-hmm. So shout out to ladies, though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, number two. Oh man, this one. When you, I really wish we could, the video had had so much effect. If y'all get a chance to follow that page and check that out. Uh, when you buy a used car, you pay for the damage done by others. This ain't just true about cars. <laughs> true. <laughs> fact. Yeah. I've had personal experiences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they don't care, bro. That's, that's that. one thing I've, I've learned as I've gotten older. They really don't care, bro. Women don't care. Mm-hmm. They will leave that car damaged and be like, oh, what's the next car note? Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> next want car note. Same, and want the same price. Yep. And want the same price. And then sue you. <laughs> hey, Tyler. She going to sue you, you for the damage. <laughs> a used car for the same price <laughs> when it was new? <laughs> oh. But tell them that. But anyway. <laughs> I'm glad you said it. Um, you said it in a nice way, and I was gonna say it. I'm gonna just let that rock though. Yeah, we we got to because this next one don't get no better. Okay. How many beautiful women in a mall 
how many beautiful women you might find in the mall or just take that mall into a, just real life. Everything you do in your regular life, how many See, beautiful, beautiful women all the time. And beautiful women is objective. If you would picture yourself, um, w- then that's beautiful to you. I got oh man, the algorithms. <laughs> they, the algorithms are censoring me. <laughs> but um, how many beautiful women might you see in the mall? Many. But men of value are rare. You are the prize. But you're not born a prize. You have to become one. Don't forget that last statement and that last what sentence. What I was talking about before we, before we went on Do not camp. forget that last sentence. You are not born a prize. You have to make yourself one. But once you are one, know that you are that and that and you you're rare. You're a rare find. You're a rare thing. And this this goes back to what we were talking about before on camera. What sometimes women do, and they still gonna get they they're gonna give themselves credit for any success you have. Even if they like leave you broken in pieces, they're gonna still take credit once you build yourself back up. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Wouldn't have got there without them. Yep. No matter what you do, bro, if you if you fail, she right. Because she said you ain't nothing without me. If you succeed, she going to say the only reason he succeeded was because of me. How the hell do you win? You can't win, bro. <laughs> but she will build the guy that she wanted you to be for the next chick. That's all she going to do. Because once you hurt a man to that level, it just shapes our focus. It takes our focus away from everything else to say, you know what? I'm finna focus on doing all this stuff. Like, I'm going to be selfish as you say I am. And I'm going to make all this stuff happen. And when I do, you're not even you're not even going to be nowhere on my mind anyway. But I hope you see my success. But she going to still say, it was because of me. You don't even know how you just bled into the next one so cold with what you just said. Because you had said, like, um, when she, like, you know, y'all going through or whatever, and, and she think like, oh, she made you or whatever, and you about to be, and so mm-hmm. I'm about to make all of that. And a part of you being like, oh, I'm about to beat her, and I'm about to make it, and all of that, and after you, now you finna see how much, though, you did appreciate a woman being there. So like you said, building for the next, the next year probably chick. finna get so much of a better she gonna, you. She gonna get, exactly. You I think know? every woman makes a, a, a man, I, I, you know, I've said this on the pod. My, my oh, first girls, crazy. I was terrible I never with. Thought about it about I was terrible like with. I think every because woman every builds you to be a better version of yourself. After me, I just I always started got better. treating the next girl better because I remembered yep. the things that I messed up yep. and did wrong. My first girl, women don't do that. My That's my whole girl, point. Women, hey. they take a broken version of themselves to the next guy and then to the next. No, no, guy. go stop, go stop. Because you get bleeding to my, to my next what? point. Just but I'm forget. also just into my realization of. Because in my relationship from high school to my first relationship after high school, let's just go there. We talking 15, 16, because I didn't go to, let's, and keep in mind, did not go to my prom, had a girlfriend for two years before prom. Told her when we started dating, I'm not going to prom. Don't try to ask me to go to prom when prom happened. Two years later when prom happened, I'm not going to prom. I told you that. Mm-hmm. She went to prom by herself. Came and got me after the prom, I still hit that night because I was a boyfriend. So I had to. It was like tradition. You have to do that on prom night, whatever. And I was broke. Shout out to the uh, the dude that was, um, let's just say, in them streets. And he liked her, and he tried to, like, pay for her. I was super bummy, bro. This, hey, y'all can laugh at this. When um, we she picked me up, we went to dinner, but I was broke. I didn't have no money. So she didn't eat nothing because I didn't eat nothing. And the dude that had the money that liked though was there with his date and everything. And she didn't, like, he wanted to pay for, like, her food and stuff. And she didn't take no food from him. And I still, like, went back to the hotel and stuff. And I was trash, bro. <laughs> I did not know nothing about being no boyfriend. I'm 18, man. Trash. Still <laughs> trash. Uh, still trash in my 20s. Had a girlfriend at uh, the gas, I mean, the gas station, the grocery store I worked at or whatever. And um, never took her out, never did nothing or whatever. Ended up moving up here with her. She ended up cheating on me because of that. Learned that lesson. Now my next girlfriend. <laughs> That's what you got to do as a boyfriend. You got to start yeah. going out. Who cares what you want to do? You got to start giving a little bit. So you just learn more and more and more, right? I don't think it's the same way the other way around. Because in this next point, what he's saying 
is uh, because there's five things and it's number four. Just get to the point because we right. Okay. I just thought that was a funny story and sometimes I like to give. I don't want to make it seem like I'm Mr. Cool Man. I take L's too. Um, Drama destroys a woman but builds a man. Her past matters, but his doesn't. It's not him. It's nature. Facts. (laughs) Facts. <laughs> like is Oh, like, that's why you that's why you cut me off because I was getting Yeah, into, okay. because that's what it is. Like nah, when true. when we go through stuff or whatever, we kind of learn from it and try to like hold on. I don't want to say I want to say as in general as I, all I of us. Say, know. I I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a large percentage of men. I ain't even gonna say most men, yeah. but because uh, it's a it's a bunch of just ignorant ass people out here. Fifty two is a large percentage because it's over half. But yeah. anyway, go ahead. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll say I'll I'll say I'll say most men. That's that's most men. You know what I'm saying? When we go through different things in life. Not even just relationship. Matter of fact, I'll say relationship specifically because it could be even with your boys. Yeah, because it, it could be, be anything. With your boys, it could family. be your boys, family. It could be it could jobs. Be it could be whatever life. jobs, life, just life stuff. Whatever Not even go, just women. Yeah. Relationships. Period. When when something don't work, if a man really like love that person, like you really love your moms and you into it, or you really love your brother, and y'all beefing, that stuff really affects us. And then like, no matter how, in most cases, no matter how a person might seem, like when you see them or how they want to talk or they might not reach out to you. That hurt men. Mm-hmm. When them relationships be going through them things, like we be hurt. I might not call you. I might not. I'm, I might still be on BS with you. But it hurt to me to see, like, damn, like I ain't even speaking to my moms. Like I ain't speaking to my bro. Like I ain't talked to one of my best friends, bro, in like probably like seven, eight years. And it's like my brother. It hurts me that I can't even reach out to bro. I don't even know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. hurtful. Yeah. But I ain't finna be out here like trying to really stalk him down because I'm like, you can reach out to me. My number ain't changed. So, <laughs> oh, but that it still ego, hurts. that ego, some more. Yeah, bro, I'm not doing it. But I'm just saying, like, as men, we do value that stuff. So, like, person to person, we do just improve because it's like, okay, I want to be better to the next person than I was to her because maybe I wasn't good to her. Then the next person, okay, you're going to get a better version. You're going to get a better version. Okay, then you'll you get like, a better friend the next time because of the friendship that I messed up. Yeah. This, yeah. Yep. Even either way, so yeah. But I then do. you also me, me, me being in the therapy, me being in therapy too has also taught me that sometimes while we leveling up, we're not necessarily leveling up our process of choosing. So we still might be valuing the same things from these women when we should be changing. That got to level what up we too. Value. What we value, mm. you know what I'm saying? So that's why mm. men of high value. Them women don't have a chance because oh, them the men who actually change their therapy. You speaking to my soul, saying. Jesus? That's what it is, Give bro. me her number when we leave here. That is <laughs> a great therapist. point, and for some reason, that just I'm never gonna make it, y'all. I just realized <laughs> I'm never gonna make it. They was talking about earlier. Look, I don't want to say. Look, just know I ain't man. Oh, I got to figure that out because that's my problem right there. I still be looking for the same values here, even though I'm like feeling like I'm doing more for me. But I, I think I'm scared of. Never mind, this ain't therapy. Um, <laughs> let me get y'all number five. Then we going into cap of fact. Then we getting into the reacts. What I know y'all here for. Number five, last thing. Men come back because they missed the beautiful thing that they had with a woman. A woman comes back because they failed to replace the man that they had. <laughs> Bro, I feel like you trolling me. Hey, bro. Why, why hey, have I been in all of these situations? I think that's true as a man who's been replaced twice. Both of my exes that I love is married, happy. Well, not married. One is married. One is both happy. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm give I'm gonna give an answer that you wouldn't expect, right? Yeah. To that point of that question, I think it's true. You know what I'm saying? If a woman replace you. She already feel fulfilled, like, oh, whatever, I got you. I'm over you. I'm ne- ne- on to the next dude. What I'm learning is women have that process to actually disconnect a lot faster. Now, we all would think, we all would, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You would think that it takes women forever to disconnect from you, right? You know why we really think that that's true? Because even though a dude might go have sex with somebody else or something like that, a dude do not be disconnecting from their baby mamas. R.I.P. F.B.G. Duck. Somebody literally a part of that case made some made some actions, you know what I'm saying, because he couldn't let go of a, his baby mom who he wasn't even dealing with no more and who FBG Duck wasn't even dealing with no more. But it, it was in him so deep that alleged, I ain't, well, we can't even say allegedly. It's all, you know, it's, it's done now. Allegedly still. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what I'm saying is a, a guy a guy that really loves somebody, bro, we be holding on to that hurt. Cause we don't we don't go to therapy typically. Like we just take that hurt, right? And you still feel that way towards that person. A woman, when she find a, a better version of you in her brain, or she tell herself, this is better than the last thing I had, she'll eventually disconnect. She'll put, she'll pour into this person until the facade wear off it, and she realized, like, this ain't really what I want. I was convincing myself this was, but this ain't what I want. What I really want is that nigga over there. And she still holds on to him, even though now he's finally healed, maybe, and moved on. But if he have it, now you start interacting again. Because now she feel like I can take him from her. Oh, if, I'm telling you, bro. You're once a woman, a, you're getting into a whole deeper darker right now. I'm just saying, bro. That's a whole it's, a, it's, a, it's a different way that women disconnect than men. A woman going to disconnect until she find a better, a better you. Yeah. And then she'll pour. Because she's like, oh, this is better than I had. And if, and if he stay consistent, I, and I just don't, I she'll only, keep pouring. And I can only speak for me. A woman may disconnect until she find a better you or in her pursuit of finding a better you. And then for me, which I would assume is, like you say, the most percentage of men, um, if I disconnect, it's going to be hard for me to accept that you was probably out here, you know, trying to connect a lot. And then come back to me once you realize, nah. Plus, that's 50% of it. The other 50% is I might find somebody that I'm going to just say I have a lot more fun with Minus whatever you think is intimate. Like, I might just be like being around her. She might be funny. She might enjoy, she might, or she might enjoy me more. She might know how to play 2K. She might let me know about who I should be betting on prize picks or something. She might have some type of insight that I'm interested in. She might like the food I like, the restaurant, like anything a little bit more that I might find a little bit more pleasant. So now by the time you come back, because that's what I'm I'm gonna be pursuing once I leave whatever said relationship. I'm gonna be pursuing somebody who cause now back to this like learning and growing from. I'm gonna also be like the things that I probably didn't like about you or that I'm looking at or why this relationship didn't work, I'm probably gonna look for in the next relationship. Like if I know that this is what I enjoy. I just add it to the list. I might like I might try to look for a girl who play video games now. So now when I'm in the room playing the game, she might not know nothing about basketball, sports, or care. But she love Call of Duty or she love Elder Scrolls or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she in her room on her Xbox PS5 doing her thing. So I'm just saying, like, I'm a that's what I would be. Me, personally. I think in general, as men go relationship to relationship, not only do we learn more about ourselves, we learn more about the kind of woman we, we want. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, like, what what can, what can hurts a man, like, more than anything, just me, like, being older now and saying, like, some of my homies go through divorce and all that stuff, it's when you think you got the right one. <laughs> it's when you thought you vetted the process out. Like, okay, I done, I done dealt with mad chicks. I done went through all kind of different stuff. I done, like, you know, heard all the stories. I think this going to be the one that I'm going to be with. And you get married. Y'all start building families. You know what I'm saying? Y'all bought houses together. Y'all did all this stuff. And then you realize, like, nah, I was wrong. Bro, a man carries that hurt for a while because it's hard for you to, like, open that back up and be like, because you got to first accept the fact, like, I was wrong. Something, Something with my process is off. But a lot of women don't necessarily do that. They'll just be like, it was him. It's not me. I was great to him. It was him. So, like, they don't even understand, like, nah, you need to heal and think about that situation just like we do. That's why I say, like, my first situation, I was terrible. Then my next situation, I was better until something happened. And then I became terrible. And then by the time I started trying to, like, wanted, I wanted to change, I was so, the shit was so toxic, it just wasn't no changing. But then the next situation, I was better. Then the next, like, I, I know internally, like, nah. And These that, people, I didn't do bogus. Like, I didn't do y'all dirty. Like, I didn't do y'all dirty. Oh, no, I definitely was. I remember being a super terrible. The, the, when I got cheated on and stuff, she, yeah, she should have cheated on me. I was terrible. I was bad. When I got I, cheated on, I, bro, I real talk, I she should have cheated on me, too. Yeah. I, was, I ain't even going to hold you. I'm not going to act like, oh, man, she was like, she shouldn't have. That was, she was, but no, she wasn't. She, nah, she should have cheated on me, too. Yeah. I, would, nah. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't respect, be a good man. I respect it. I get it. Now that I'm old, when, oh, of course, obviously, when I was going through it, no. But oh, when yeah, I was going through it, I was finna, <laughs> I, was, I was at homeboy John, bro. Like, I'm, wait, like, I was, bro, bro I was on that, bro. 
Now the only look, because he shook my hand, bro. How you gonna shake my hand and try to like what? We had oh, it nah. going. What? What? No. <laughs> Let me he didn't shake my hand or nothing, but he definitely uh, talked to me over yeah, the phone or something. Angle. And then after a while, I found myself like, what am I talking to this nigga for? <laughs> and I just hung the phone up, and, and then we went through whatever we was going through. But it's just, I don't know. It was, you know, young L's. You take those when you're young or whatever. Maybe not now. If I had the internet now, ooh, I would have been way too tough to take those. All this red pill energy going on. Ooh, I would have never took that. <laughs> I would have never took that as a 20-year-old. <laughs> Nah, what she like? <laughs> These days and age.